Yo 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 what's up guys it's Arpa here and in today's video I will show you guys how to make that crazy effect that you just saw in the intro and there actually isn't that much masking as you probably think but yeah the only plugins you will need is the suffer plugin but other than that drop a like drop a sub and don't forget to hit that notable and if you want to support me even further make sure to use code yo RP hashtag ad in the fortnite either shop but other than that, let's get right into DaVinci Resolve. Okay guys, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve right now. And the first thing you want to do is to sync up your clip with the music as well as adding a velocity to it. When you've done that, we can start doing the build up. First off, go to your shot of impact. If you didn't know, that's the first frame you see these like red and yellow dots appear in your cursor. So for me, it's right there and press M on your keyboard to put down a marker. Then after that, you want to go to FX and drag in an adjustment clip and make so the adjustment clip ends on the marker we just placed. Make sure that you don't make the adjustment clip short because that will mess up the presets. So make sure to drag the whole adjustment clip and make it to the at the marker. Then go to the Fusion tab on the adjustment clip and in the description you should find the gold ruffle. Then in that gold ruffle, the download with the preset called back CCRP. Basically just download that and drag it in like this. Pretty easy, all the keyframes will be done at the end. Then you can make the adjust clip short from the beginning if you want. Now we'll actually do some masking, but don't be scared because this first mask we're gonna do is actually super easy and fast to do. Basically start off by going to the mark we placed and split your clip on it. Then basically from this point you want to go 30 frames to the left. You can either just go 30 frames with your arrows or you can do a faster way that I'm gonna show you right now. Press on the left part of your clip, press Ctrl D then change this like thingy to frames and change the duration to minus 30 like this press change and that will basically make it 30 frames shorter now if we move to where the clip ends right now and then drag it out again we know that this is the frame split it right there so we have a separate clip like this and basically that separate clip you're gonna hold alt and drag it two ways up like this so we jump over the adjustment clip and it's basically on this adjustment clip we're gonna do the mask and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask out the health bar that shouldn't be that hard since the health bar doesn't move basically how to mask it out is just hover over it and go to the color tab over here then inside of here go to the circle with four dots like this and press on this kind of pencil thingy now go to the first frame by dragging this all the way here and you don't need to keyframe anything since as I said the health bar does move so basically what you can do is just yeah basically mask it like this pretty easy as you see guys I literally just had to do four nodes something like this it doesn't need to be perfect it won't really be noticeable if it isn't perfect but basically when you mask it like this go to nodes right click and add add alpha output then connect them like this and you'll see that it will become transparent now basically go back to edit tab and you're gonna right click on that clip you just masked and press new compound clip and press create. Now we're gonna basically duplicate it by holding alt and drag it only up like this. So we basically have two of them. Now basically what you're gonna do is to this original copy, right click on it and press open in the fusion page. Then basically in the same gold ruffle that's the other time you should find a preset called character press health back glow rp. Basically just don't that and drag it in like this. This does require sapphire plugins. You should see that it just becomes a whole mess. You might need to play around with the like glow brightness. As you see guys, I think it's a bit too much glow so I'm gonna fix it real quick. Like this, I think this perfect glow, we can always change up that later. Now when we basically are done with that, we can start doing the character and then we can add zoom in. Basically what we're gonna do to the shark is we're gonna basically mask it out. It can take a bit more time but it's pretty easy. But basically how to start that out is again go to the main clip we cut out in the beginning. Hold alt and drag it up I think 4 layers like this so it is above everything and everything looks like normal again. What you're gonna do now to it is you can either mask it in After Effects or in DaVinci Resolve. That's honestly up to you. But I'm gonna quickly just show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. Again just hover over it, go to the color tab, basically the same thing as last time, go to the circle with photos, press on this pencil thingy. And uh, now it's where basically you will need to keyframe some stuff, so how to basically do that is just go to the first frame and keyframe this kind of correct one. And then you can basically just start masking like this, I am not do that super accurate because I already have a mask, this is just for the tutorial. Yeah, so basically like this, I masked the whole thing and connected them at the end, don't ask what happened here. 
but now basically you just gotta go frame by frame like this and this correct the dots until you finish the whole clip yeah and then just the same thing add alpha output connect it like this and you're basically good to go but as i said i'll have the mask so right here basically what you're gonna do is when you mask it you're again gonna take the mask clip and hold out on it and drag the one layer for this so we again got the copy by the way make sure to make a new compound clip out of the clip as soon as you finish masking it but basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna again take the copy below the second copy and right click on it and press open in fusion page and then you're gonna put in the same charity plus health back glue rp preset it basically it's the same thing you should already have it downloaded and basically connect it like this again you will maybe need to adjust the glue on this but basically go back to edit tab and it should look something like this and it already looks super clean and I actually like this super much. I could make the background a bit darker, but I don't think that's necessary. Now we're actually gonna add a zoom in now when we're done with this basic stuff. How to do that is go to FX and drag in an adjustment clip and make it so it ends at the mark we put it down in the beginning, you remember? Make sure again that you don't make the adjustment clip short because that will mess up the preset as I said. So basically just hover over it and go to Fusion tab on the adjustment clip. And then in the same Google Draft folder, you should find a preset called Zoom in RP. Basically just download that and drag it in like this. Cypher plugin again. Now if you go back to the edit tab, right click on the adjust clip and press render cache color with which will just reduce the lag quite a bit. And this is basically what you should have right now. Now for the impact. The same thing, go to FX Dragon and adjust the clip and make it so it starts on the marker this time. Don't make it shorter. Then basically just hover over the adjust clip and in the same gold ruffle you should find a preset called Wave Impact RP. Basically just don't that and drag it in like this. Again, the only thing you need is Sapphire plugins. And now basically you can fade in all the clips a bit like this just so it isn't that choppy. And this is basically what it should get as a final product. Pretty clean in my opinion. Basically you can check the Google Drive folder if I find some sound effects to this. But yeah, other than that, drop a like, drop a sub, comment some tutorial ideas or stuff like that. And turn on Notable and see you guys later. Bye.